Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope everyone is doing very well. It is hot as all get out here in Atlanta. Uh, I'm going to be, I popped on here. I didn't even change my outfit. I know you guys see me around with another video with the same top, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and make a very quick um, health announcement. Uh, basically, and I didn't see anyone um, up here on YouTube really focusing on this, and especially certain people that deal with sunscreen a lot on their channel uh, are mum about it. So I decided to, you know, go ahead and kind of put this out there. Uh, I it ran across my desk, so I've got I've got my little handy dandy um, phone here, and I'll be reading this. And basically, this is from the Washington Post. This is not a hoax. This is not, um, you know, BS or anything like that. <clears throat> and um, I will just read it to you. And I will post a link to it down below so you guys can uh, read it on your own. Johnson & Johnson recalls five Neutrogena Aveeno sunscreen products containing benzene. Benzene is a highly, highly, it's a flammable carcinogenic. It's, uh, it's right up there with turpentine and gasoline and all of those. Um, it is used as a propellant. So uh, we are talking about sunscreens that are in aerosol cans or uh, have some sort of spray mechanism where they propel the sunscreen onto your skin. And the thing that uh, frightened me very much is that these type of products that are sprays, I see constantly, you know, if I'm on the beach or anything, moms putting on their kids because it's convenient, it's fast, they don't have to rub anything onto the child. They just basically spray them down. They uh, spray their arms, their legs, their backs, and then uh, the kids can go out and, you know, just play on the beach and all of that. So I wanted to go ahead and give you some of the names of the products so that you guys can um, make sure that, it, you know, check your cupboards, check your beach, wherever you keep your beach sunscreens and all that. And if you have these products, please chuck them. Please throw them out, okay? Um, again, I did not see anyone uh, really here on YouTube. I've, I've been watching it and I certainly thought 100% certain people who are so into, you know, um, sunscreen and health and all of that uh, would be uh, up in arms and talking about it. Uh, maybe I missed it. Maybe I, I don't know, but uh, I haven't seen it mentioned, so I'm going ahead and mentioning it. Mentioning it. Uh, because I don't have a dog in this fight, let's just say that. So Johnson & Johnson announced Wednesday that five of its aerosol sunscreen products are being recalled uh, after some samples were found to contain low levels of benzene, a chemical linked to blood cancer such as leukemia. The recall involves four Neutrogena sunscreen versions, uh, Beach Defense Aerosol Sunscreen, Cool Dry Sport Aerosol Sunscreen, Invisible Daily Defense Aerosol Sunscreen. Now remember, all of these say aerosol on it. So you don't have to worry about anything that is a, uh, a lotion, uh, anything that is applied topically uh, and rubbed as a, uh, as a lotion that comes from a tube or anything. Um, and Ultra Sheer Aerosol Sunscreen. And for the Aveeno products, and it's uh, Aveeno product protect Aveeno protect and refresh aerosol sunscreen. Uh, the healthcare giant said in a statement that though using the products would not be expected to cause adverse health consequences, it voluntarily decided on the recall out of an abundance of caution. Well, that is very nice of them and uh, to to go ahead and do that, even though, um, you know, they claim allegedly that uh, it wouldn't uh, be harmful to put it on there. But, you know, if, if you have a child, uh, you know, would you take a chance? Would you take a chance to spray a carcinogenic onto their body, um, you know, to protect them for, from, you know, sun damage or whatever. Uh, while benzene is not an ingredient in any of our sunscreen products, it was detected in some samples of the impacted aerosol sunscreen finished products. Johnson & Johnson said, adding that the recall was 
for all SPF levels and sizes. The company did not disclose the levels of benzene detected in its testing, but said in its statement that based on exposure modeling and environmental protection agency guidance, daily exposure to benzene in these aerosol sunscreen products at the levels detected in our testing would not be expected to cause adverse health consequences. So again, they are um, downplaying it that it's not a, you know it's not a big deal that they voluntarily took it off the market. <clears throat> And I do see a picture. I don't know if you guys can see it, but those are the those are the bottles. And I will put uh, pictures of it, you know, here on the side so you guys can see. But it's definitely the Neutrogena Cool Dry Sport, which is that blue bottle. Uh, they have the Vino Protect and Refresh, which is the orange bottle, and then the Beach Defender, which is the uh, the yellow bottle. So you guys can hopefully see a little of that. A representative from Johnson & Johnson said by email that after seeing the Valisher report, the company immediately began a comprehensive end-to-end -end investigation of our manufacturing process and raw materials, including internal testing and a thorough data review. Again, that is very good and very nice of them that they completely, you know, took this on. And um, luckily, the, you know, there wasn't a child or a person that was harmed that became sick from using this uh, so they stopped it and took it off the market before you know causing any any damage or uh, obviously being sued or anything benzene a component of gasoline you see i told you gasoline or and turpentine but gasoline and a frequently used solvent for rubber and waxes is highly flammable and widely used worldwide Long-term and repeated exposure to the chemical at high enough levels can cause leukemia or other cancers, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, the carcinogens effect vary depending on whether it is inhaled, ingested, or gets on a person's skin. So in this case, you know, uh, exposure would be through a person's skin, but it also, since it is ex, ex uh, a, you know, uh, sprayed into the air, expelled into the air is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you can inhale it, obviously, if you're standing around and someone's spraying it around your body, it's in the air here and it can get, get you know, in your nostrils, your, your, um, your lungs and all of that. The carcinogens effects uh, vary depending on whether it is inhaled, ingested. Okay, symptoms range from dizziness to irregular heartbeat, but the highest levels of exposure can also lead to death. Uh, the New Jersey-based company, which said it had notified the Food and Drug Administration of the recall announcement, urged consumers to immediately stop using the five sunscreen products listed, dispose of them appropriately, and find alternative sun protection. So again, if you are spraying it, uh, you might want to go ahead and just get uh, a lotion, a regular lotion, regular sunscreen that is applied, that is uh, in a squeeze bottle, uh, or in a tube. Uh, and basically that's what I use too. I really don't use uh, sprays at all. Uh, I think I do have one spray that I have from years ago, but now that I know about this, I will be chucking that. So I, I only put really, I only put lotion on my on my skin if I go out, all right? Um, the recall, which is happening amid a summer of major heat waves across the country, came months after the independent laboratory announced that it had found benzene in 78 sunscreens and after sun products. So I'm not gonna go through the whole uh, article here. I'm Again, I'm gonna put the link down below uh, so you guys can go read it. Again, it is from the Washington Post. It's, uh, you know, it just goes on and on, blah, 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 about, uh, you know, different talking heads talking about, um, you know, the levels of gases in it and um, how, you know, it, it basically goes a certain distance in the atmosphere. So if you're spraying it and others are around you, uh, it could f affect not only the person that is being sprayed upon, but people that are around them. So again, be very careful of this. Again, I don't know why it hasn't been really um, talked about that much here on the YouTube community, but I thought I, that I would put this out there for you guys. And um, I will be putting a list of the products that they mention uh, so that you guys are aware of it and can you know dispose of it. Uh, I don't know how 
it is exposed honestly if it's an aerosol can I think there is a special method to expose uh, to ex um, to get rid of uh, aerosol cans you can't just put it in a garbage can so you will probably have to call your local um, you know uh, sanitation department or something and ask them how they dispose of aerosol cans I know that you can't just put it in the in the garbage okay but definitely put it aside put it in a box put it away somewhere where uh, your family cannot get a hold of it your kids can't get a hold of it and um, and you know and continue to use it okay so if you uh, like this video please give it a thumbs up I really really appreciate your support and um, you guys are showing me a lot of love I'm trying to put up as many videos as I can um, so you know on my weekends I try to do that and I do edit on the weeks at night uh, so I try to put in some time at night but predominantly I videotape during the week ends because that's when I have time uh, I love you guys and um, that's it I love you keep well keep healthy and uh, leave me comments below on um, if you've used the aerosol if you've you know God forbid had any any issues or health wise or anything that you want to let us know about and uh yeah keep well keep healthy and god bless and i will see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.